Hey, uh, this is Ramsey Paul, and I don't really, a lot of people call me a political commentator or social commentator. I don't think of that myself that way. I think of myself as an artist. And I, I've been to a lot of school. I went to college, and I, I took some liberal arts courses, so I, I know a lot of things. And I learned that art, true art, isn't about making things pretty or beautiful. That's how they used to do it a long time ago, and it required, like, talent. But luckily, either the modern artist, you don't have to have talent. You just have to know how to shock people. It's good to shock people and be a yeah, One of my all-time favorite artists is a photographer named Serrano. I don't know if you remember this guy. He's, he was in the 80s, a gay photographer, and he, he did this brilliant photograph. He, he put a crucifix in his jar of urine, and he photographed it. And um, that's good art because it offended um, by Christians, and it showed their narrow-minded, homophobic beliefs by pissing on Jesus. And um, that's what good art is all about. And it won all sorts of awards, and he actually got government funding to do that. Anyway, back then, some of those intolerant, bigoted, narrow-minded, homophobic Christians like Jesse Holmes protested government money for a homosexual to pee on a crucifix, uh, which... I would think that's where our tax money should go for. But anyway, there's a lot of good groups back then, a lot of like Jewish groups that said they defended Serrano, saying he had the right of free expression, and the people that opposed that were just bigots, and they weren't open-minded to art and freedom of exp expression. Okay, so as an artist, I think I kind of understand that. So if I want to pee or poo on a crucifix, that's a good thing, and I can get government funds for it. And it's edgy, it's edgy, um, which I want to be always edgy. But what threw me for a loop is just what happened recently with this pastor that wants to burn the Koran. Okay, what's confused me about this pastor that wants to b burn the Koran is all these liberal groups, even Jewish groups, are opposed to it. They say it's hate. But these were the same people that just 20 years ago were saying it was fine for government funds to be paid to a homosexual to urinate on a crucifix. And I've learned there's a fine line between being edgy and irreverent, which is a good thing, versus hate, which is a bad thing. So peeing on a crucifix is edgy and irreverent. Um, burning the crown is hate. So it's kind of confusing, but as an artist, I'm willing to try, and I hope what I'm doing will be seen as edgy and irreverent, not as hate. So I'm going to do some performance art here. And it's, you know, performance art, you've probably seen it. That's usually a lesbian in a university. She gets up and she smears herself with poo and screams, and that's art. Well, I'm going to do some art like that, just a little okay, bit I'm not going to do anything to offend the Muslims because I've learned recently that's hate, and I don't want to go into the hate So category. I thought about doing my performance art and desecrating uh, Christian symbols because I know that's irreverent and edgy, and it's not hate. Uh, but I'm worried it's been overdone because that Serrano did it with Piss Christ. It's been done so many times. I mean, just recently, that guy, that nice Jewish comedian, uh, Larry David, he uh, had on a show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, he pissed on Jesus. And that's funny. And that, that's a good thing. But it's, I think it's been overdone. So I get it. Um, desecrating Muslim symbols is hate and intolerance. Desecrating Christian symbols is irreverent and funny. Uh, okay, I get that. But how about another religion? So I'm going to choose another religion. I'm not sure which will fall in. I'm going to try Judaism. And I, I, I hope it's in the funny and irreverent. That's what I want to go as a performance And artist. I thought I liked that pastor that's burning the Quran for 9-11, tying into that theme. I thought I'd use the same theme because a lot of our the Israeli um, lobbyists, most of our foreign funds go there, and that's why we're embroiled in all these Middle Eastern conferences. Because I mean, most of us here in Oklahoma, we don't, you know, we don't give a fuck. But a lot of the uh, Jewish people and the Zionist Christians think we need to fight for Israel, um, the Christians, so we can spark the rapture or something. So I was thinking maybe I could burn a Jewish symbol on 9/11 uh, instead of the Quran. I hope this is edgy in a record. Okay, so I thought of burning the Torah um, for you Christians. Um, that's the Old Testament. But they don't really follow that anymore. I mean, it's kind of dated. And then there's the Talmud. And again, you Christians, most of you don't know what that is. And you shouldn't read that. That just confuses your head. And that just gives you really confusing thoughts. That's not for you to read. 
Uh, so I'm thinking, what is it? What's the most holy symbol? I mean, the, the most sacred Jewish festival right now is the Holocaust. I mean, you, you could go to jail in Europe if you don't believe in the Holocaust. So that's like the most sacred thing right now. And their most sacred book is required reading. I remember as a kid, this one, The Diary of Anne Frank. All right, so this performance art presentation, I don't call it Piss Christ. I call it Easy Bake Anne Frank. Here we go. No, 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 no. Not the oven! Not the oven! Whew. As an artist, I'm lost for words. That was profound. That was edgy. That was irreverent. It was, it was art. And if any government officials are watching from the National Endowment of the Arts, um, you can donate to me if you wish, like you did Serrano's members. Easy Bake and Frank, I call it, not Piss Christ. I hope that wasn't hate, though. No, that's irreverent. I get it confused. Talk to you guys later.